Hi, I'm Jonathan Corky, and I'm a Canes fan. Uh, as we go in between the game, between the, uh, Boston, the series of Boston Bruins, game four and five, which at the time of recording this does not look well for us at all, I figured I'd lighten the mood and talk about my top 10 favorite Carolina Hurricanes of all time. Now, I am 20 years old, so some people like Artis Urbe, um, and even Ron Francis uh, will not be on the or Jeff O'Neill will not be on the list because I don't remember watching those guys play. So they're not ten of my personal favorites, and there are just ten guys I have a personal attachment to more through my childhood. Which in so yeah, like I do want to give those guys an honorable mention because in Keith Primo. Because I just was not old enough to be able to enjoy watching those guys play, which is something I regret because at the time I was still a baby living in um, Colorado. So that, that is also why the Avalanche are my favorite team. And since this is a video of favorites, I figured it would give me an excuse to wear my favorite Hurricanes jersey of all time. When they came out with the black jersey, I do like the black jersey. I actually kind of wish they went back to this with the Adidas style. Because I do like the fact that it has the storm flag right here on it. So, yeah. And then, like, what I would do is keep the double flag logo. But that's a video for another time. But this is my favorite Hurricanes jersey of all time. My dream is to find one of these online that has my favorite player, who we'll get into. But he's probably every Hurricanes favorite Hurricane of all time. So, without further ado, number 10 is uh, Glenn Wesley. I actually have him in the whale. I'm going to be showing hockey cards for every 10 of the guys that made the list. Now, the reason why I like Glenn Wesley is I just, I was always a fan of the leaders on the Hurricanes. So when I was six and couldn't follow hockey, I gravitated towards the leaders. Spoilers. Um, so I do like Glenn Wesley a lot. Um, and he's just like, he was a solid defenseman. He was a big part of us winning the cup. He was a pivotal top four defenseman on our team. If I remember correctly, I was only six. So yeah. And then also I went to Glenn Wesley night, which was the night he retired. I am kicking myself. For, yeah. So, um, kicking myself for never getting his autograph. Um, yeah. So number 10, Glenn Wesley, number nine, Doug Waite. Now Doug Waite, won the Stanley Cup with the Hurricanes. There's going to be a lot of 06 guys on here because that is a core I very much remember. And I bought the Hurricane Stanley Cup DVD. I love that thing. I still watch it 14 years later. And Doug Waite was always the guy I liked because he was specifically highlighted as a trade asset. So when I would play NHL 09, because when my parents got the PS2 or PS3, I would actually trade for Doug Waite. And number eight, for the same reasons as Doug Wade above, so I'll lump these guys together a little bit, uh, Mark Recchi. I was, I'm a big fan of Mark Recchi. The only good thing about Boston's 2011 Stanley Cup for me was that Mark Recchi won another Stanley Cup because I'm a big fan of his. I think Hay is the only Hall of Famer on the 06 Carolina Hurricanes Cup team, which is a shame. Hopefully a guy like Wesley or Waite can get in there. But I always liked Mark Recchi because he was also highlighted. He seemed like a genuine guy. Still seems like a genuine nice guy. Um, so, yeah, number eight, Mark Recchi. I would also always trade for him in the NHL 09. And number seven, Eric Cole. Eric Cole I liked because his story was really inspiring to me, even as a six-year-old, to be able to come back from Doug Waite's injury with the dislocated shoulder and be able to come back and play the last two games after having a broken freaking neck, quoting Kurt Angle. Um, wrestling fans know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, I just always found his story inspiring to me. Just always liked him. Like, there's not really much else to say why. Next up, the first current member of the Hurricanes roster. A lot of the current Hurricanes guys are going to start showing up now. Because this is probably my favorite core group of Hurricanes we've ever had. Uh, Justin Williams. Now, I've always liked Justin Williams a lot, even from the 06 Cup win. I liked watching him win a cup with the LA Kings in 20... I think it was 2012 and 2014. 
Um, so yeah, just he's a great leader. He came back. He specifically, one thing I love about him is he came back to Carolina because he wants to see our franchise, or not our franchise, the franchise that we all love win. And, you know, I always respect that. And I think he's a key part of the Hurricanes. And it's going to be sad to see him retire. And I hope he can get into the Hall of Fame because he deserves it. He's probably the second best leader in the Hurricanes history. And he's just a super clutch player even today. He just only produces in the clutch hockey games. And, you know, it's always nice to have that. Uh, next up, Sebastian Ajo, another current Carolina Hurricane. Now, Sebastian Ajo is probably the best player on the Hurricanes right now. Um, he's probably the most important player on the Hurricanes right now. He's just not quite my favorite, and I'll get into why. Um but the thing that impresses me the most about Sebastian Ajo, because I do want to sing his praises, is that Sebastian Ajo literally was a winger when we drafted him. He was a left winger, you know, solid left winger, going to become an elite left winger, no doubt about it. We needed an elite center. That's what we needed. We got plenty of elite, we've got plenty of first line wingers on our team. Tara Vinen, I think Svechnikov was drafted by this point. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. So we always had. Uh, solid, so we all, we needed a top uh, line center. Ajo literally switched to center. And I think just switching positions is a really tough thing to do. And the fact that he was, that he is such a good and talented hockey player during the offseason, he was able to become our number one center is one of the most impressive things I've seen a Carolina Hurricane do since I've been watching. So... Yeah, like I just, that's part of why I love Ajo, and he's just a great player, great passer, great back check. Um, coming up next, my, well, uh, another current Carolina Hurricane is Andrei Svechnikov. So Andrei Svechnikov, I like a lot. Like my, the, th the reason why I like Andrei more than Seabass is because I like the fact that Andrei has a physical game. I was a grinder when I played hockey. I wasn't a good hockey player by any means. But, you know, I was a grinder and everything. So I, res I like players that play the physical game. Ajo is the sniper that can play a physical game. And I love that. Uh, he is one of the most physical players on the Hurricane. He always finishes a hit. When you combine that with his talent, just like it's just like he's just more fun to watch. That's why I like him more than someone like Seabass, even though I think Seabass is objectively a better player. And I think Svechnikov also might end up becoming a better player than Ajo. It just depends on how he develops. Um, so, yeah, Andrei Svechnikov uh, coming up. Number... Lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah. Coming up next up is uh, Eric Stahl. Uh, Eric Stahl is... Like, just always been a salt, one of the best players on the Hurricanes. I think he's probably objectively the third best Carolina Hurricane in history. So I've always liked um, uh, uh, Eric Stahl for that purpose. He was always the captain. He was a big part of the 06 and 09 Cup run. He was the guy for our 09 uh, Eastern Conference Finals run. So, like, I've just always liked him. He probably stayed in Carolina for a little bit too long, but I am happy to see him get a career renaissance in Minnesota. And I'll, and I'll always like Eric Stahl, criticisms aside, even though he's not the kind of player I'd probably like now. Um, but when, you know, I was a blind kid being nine years old, I'm like, oh, man, Eric Stahl, he scores all these goals. What an amazing player. And he is. But, like, he's just not someone I like watching, per se. Uh, next up is just a guy I like a little bit more than Eric Stahl, and they're kind of similar. And that is Cam Ward. So Cam Ward is the best goalie in the Hurricanes history for one reason. He won the con smite that got us to a Stanley Cup. For that, Cam Ward is a permanent best goalie on the Carolina Hurricanes until we win a cup. Because he was the playoff MVP for us. So I will always be a fan of Cam Ward. Now he was a great goalie, but he is similar to Eric Stone that he stayed with us for probably too long. And he wasn't always good enough to be a starter with us. When he wasn't a starter for a playoff team towards like 2015, I don't think we had him by 2016, but 2014 as well. 
But he was always a solid goalie for Carolina, and he was a big part of the 9 playoff run we went on to. And the Conn Smythe winner in 06, that's why I put him slightly above Eric Stahl. Now, number two. Uh, number two is my favorite current Carolina Hurricanes player. And that would be Jacob Slavin. Uh, Jacob Slavin is the most solid defenseman the Hurricanes have ever had since maybe Glenn Wesley. Now, I like Dougie Hamilton. Dougie Hamilton hasn't been on the Hurricanes enough to be uh, on this list. But Aho and uh, Slavin are the best sec are like the best hurricanes they have because they were home built they weren't drafted in the first round and they have both become elite players i put slavin in an elite player every game slavin plays he is the best he makes a amazing defensive play every single game even in his off games you will at least have one amazing play that slavin makes so that's why he's number two, and he is my favorite current Hurricane, and I love Shutdown Jesus, as let me, as uh, someone on Twitter pointed out. I will, tr um, yeah, a Kaniac Chef, as Kaniac Chef pointed out. Um, you should follow him on Twitter. He's a great account, um, especially when he roasts other members of the Hurricane of uh, Hurricanes opponents. So, yeah, Kaniac Chef called him Shutdown Jesus. I think that's a great nickname for Slavin. Now, number one is probably no surprise to anyone. As I pointed out, I like leaders on the team. I like the back check and stuff. And man, oh man, was I lucky that my first ever player that I was a fan of, that I picked out as my favorite, was, and still is my favorite Carolina, my favorite player of all time, still is to this day, Rod Brindamore. No one's surprised by that. Brindamore is, in my opinion, the best hurricane of all time by far. He's not the most talented. Stahl is probably a little bit more talented. Francis is definitely more talented of a player, but he is still the best hurricane of all time. When you think about it, he is the only Carolina hurricane to be a part of who is a player and coach to be a part of all of our deep cup runs, 2002, 2006, 2009, 2019, and please God, 2020. He's been the only consistent piece of that. I think there should honestly be, Boston has a statue of Bobby Orr, Edmonton has Wayne Gretzky, we should have a statue of Rod Brindamore outside the PNC arena because he is that crucial to our organization. He literally turned, like, he turned around, he was the captain the last time when our playoff drought started. He, became, he worked his way up to head coach and got us over that hump. I think he is the most pivotal piece to the Hurricanes right now. So with that, he is also the best leader in potentially in hockey history. He was an amazing leader. The way like like when Laviolette was talking about the Buffalo game, Brenda Moore was the one who set up a meeting and stuff when he felt the team needed to hear his voice. And Laviolette was like, all right, these guys need to hear Brenda Moore's voice. And Brenda Moore came in, he said what he needed to say, and he rallied the troops around him. He has had tons of clutch goals with the Carolina Hurricanes, specifically in 06. I think he was the best uh, player in 06 when you just look at all the clutch goals he got, even better than Eric Stahl, even though Eric Stahl got more goals. Um, when you look, he got two goals in Game 1 against Edmonton. He got the first assist in Game 7 against Edmonton. I think it was Caberlet's goal. He's just an all-around amazing player, and he's a great leader, he should absolutely be in the Hall of Fame. I could make a whole video about why Rod Brennamore deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. But I'm going to cut it off there. Now, uh, why don't you guys comment below, if you want, who is your favorite Carolina Hurricane of uh, all time? And also, uh, who, did I, who should I have included as my favorite Hurricane? Um, just any thoughts like that, comment below. And if you are a fan of the Hurricanes and like hearing me talk, which you probably don't too much, uh, subscribe. Uh, I plan on doing Hurricanes videos in the future, and this was originally going to be my first video, but yesterday there was some stuff that happened that um, I felt like I needed to wanted to address first uh, because I was just so angry. 
But wanted some positivity today before the game four against Boston tomorrow, game five against Boston tomorrow. Um, so yeah.